my name is Godwin. I am the current assistant chief for Entumoto sublocation in Ongatarungai. Before joining the program, I could I can consider myself uh, very lucky because I was I was in the CDSP, CDSP uh, also a program under Compassion International. The challenge was really being able to relate uh, my uh, the uh, my life before and uh, trying to figure out why uh, why God had chose me and had set me apart to be uh, part of this uh, program because I was one among so many people and God just decided to lift me and to uh, to bless me and to make me part of this program. Godwin was a very jovial boy. He was very dedicated and diligent. And he was also one of the best brilliant students at our project here. In fact, he did very well. He went to a high school, secondary school. And after that, he was able also to join LDP leadership program uh, through the compassion program and went to the, to, to the university. There's the minimum age that is uh, stipulated for being, if you, if you want to be appointed as a chief or an assistant chief, there are those qualifications. And uh, lately they say you have to be at least uh, 30 years old. When I was the chief, uh, when I became the chief, I was 30, 30 I was 33 years old when I was appointed. Uh, I think one of the things that I have to appreciate uh, with the current situation, especially with the government, the current uh, governance structure is the fact that uh, for you to be employed uh, anywhere in the civil service, not only as an assistant chief, it is all based on merit. It is very encouraging and a very good thing when we see this youth prosper. We are great because Godwin also through his office, we are able to apply for bursaries like through CDF. And that one is a very plus for us. Uh, apart from that also, talking to our parents, if they have any issue, since they come from their committee, we are very grateful because this is a, a great achievement to us. The youth are supposed to be uh, proactive. Uh, to take part, uh, to speak. One of the one one of the best ways young people uh, speak, um, make their voices heard, is uh, through <laughs> the ballot. Young people ought to know that they we must intentionally place ourselves in these spaces. No one, it will, it will not be offered on a silver, on a silver platter. If there's a vacancy that has been announced, uh, you've got to go for it, you've got to apply. If there are these positions that are, uh, if there are openings, even political positions, young people need to be, to, uh, to, uh, to take part in these processes uh, and to make themselves uh, in this, to put, find themselves in these circles, circles of decision making, to force our way, and the only way by the, the, the only way we can do that is to uh, to be part of the civic uh, this civic process.